just click here. There, now it's going. All right, I'm live. Hello, everybody. Hold on, I'm trying to see if anybody's on. Okay, let me know if y'all can hear me good because I'm trying out a new setup for y'all. So let me know if y'all hear me good, if y'all see me good, and all that good stuff before we get started. Hi, Sky. How are you? Christine, Courtney, Lauren, Sylvia, Lori, and Green Bay. Thank you. Thank you for the compliments. Hi, Karina, Tanya. Ooh, we got a lot of y'all right now. Y'all are all checking in. Okay, everything is good. I see the thumbs up. Yes, we can. Okay, my husband got a compliment on makeup. Y'all wouldn't believe I can do this makeup so quick. <laughs> Red lipstick pulls everything together. Okay, good. Can hear you fine. Can see you good. Good. Okay, cool. How is everybody doing today? Hope y'all had a good day so far. Today has been a long one. Today was the last day of my kids for school. So they are officially on summer. Love the red lipstick. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, Steven. How are hello, you doing? Christine. Ray says hello. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Ray and the boys. My boys are over there relaxing because they're on summer, so they're already, they're already relaxing, playing their games. Love the outfit. Thank you so much. Outfit of the day. We got it. Boom. Relaxing. I had to go to my kid's school today, so I put on something relaxing, but, you know, still me. Still add a little style to it. Got my long ponytail. She like them, and I want more. <laughs> GP. Call Jinky that way, baby. Jinky, what? I always step. I don't want Jinky in the kitchen because I always step on her, on accident. Hi, Nancy. Hi in Arizona. My kids' last day today too. So sad for the scary. Oh yes, I know. Ugh, oh, it's so sad, guys. Everything on the news. It's so scary. Okay, so today for dinner, I'm making keto sloppy joes. I'm testing out this recipe because I want to do an official video on it. I might change things up. I'm just testing it right now, see how it comes out. I like to test recipes ahead of time. So you are gonna catch me testing this um, Sloppy Joe recipes. I absolutely love Sloppy Joes. Who else loves Sloppy Joes? I grew up eating them all the time. Love them. My husband loves them too. Uh, I don't know, hold on. I'm trying to catch up to the comments. Arla, saw me, at, where is it at? Oh, no, I'm saying where's the can the comment? Nice to see you at school today. Oh, thank you. Were you the one that saw me outside today? Gave me some compliments. Guys, if y'all ever see me, feel free to say hi. I love talking to y'all. I get shy, though. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, God. <laughs> but it's, it's nice. I love to see y'all outside in person. Love it. Okay, so yeah, we're testing out this recipe today. Making some sloppy joes. We got... I'm going to be using Sola's low-carb burger buns, of course, because Sola is always the best. I'm ready. Brand burger buns. Are these the ones that you're talking about? I don't know. I use Sola burger buns. But I know there's probably some different brands coming out with them. Um, but usually these are the only ones that I kind of go for because I love Sola. She says yes. Do you have the comments on this window? Yeah, they're right here. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for saying hi to me. Happy I got to see you. Okay. So these are six net carbs of burger buns. I'm only going to eat one today, um, but they're awesome. Sola has burger buns. They have hot dog buns. They're regular. They only have them on their website, but I haven't seen them in store. Have y'all seen them? <clears throat> yes. 
We need a hair tutorial. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> I was supposed to do my what I eat in a day. I'll do it in my next what I eat in a day. It is just a ponytail extension, but I'll show you how to put it on. It's super easy once you get the hang of it. Um, I got this off of Amazon and they have different lengths on there if you don't want it like overly long. But I love it and I want more. I have two of them, so I can do two on each side. Hi, New Zealand. Thank you so much. How do you feel about all these keto buns? I do not like them. They're okay, but I've tried a lot of keto breads and they're not my favorite. Like to me, they kind of like, their texture's too like chewy to me. Um, I prefer Solo over it, but a lot of people are different. Um, when I tried it toasted, it wasn't too bad, but like just by itself, I didn't really like it. Yes, yeah, Sloppy Joe is a great comfort food. What are the difference between the buns and the bread? Why do they have more carbs? Uh, probably ingredient wise, they probably put more ingredients in here. I have to compare them. I have to have them side by side to look at the ingredients, but that's probably what it is. Uh, the total carbs is different. Dietary fiber. This one has sugar alcohol in it. It has erythritol. Started watching your YouTube channel. Thank you. Happy, hopefully, hopefully you're enjoying my channel so far. In Vegas, they have Sola and Walmart, but Walmart also has some other burger buns just called Keto. I think I've seen, are they in the frozen section? That what, baby? My mom's in Vegas? No, she already came back. My mom just recently came back from Vegas on Sunday. Me and my family bought her Bruno Mars concert tickets. What's, what's his band called again? Anyway, she went to go see Bruno Mars in Vegas, and she had a good time. We bought it for her birthday. I haven't found any keto bread I like. Only like the Tortilla Carb Smart bread. Yeah, Sola is really good, though. I like Sola. Give it a try. You got to test them out. Okay, so we're at least going to get started, um, and I'll try to catch up. I'll try to look at y'all's comments while I start. Um, but y'all know my husband. He'll read them all out. Okay, so since I am testing out this recipe, I kind of threw what I would want in a homemade sloppy joe mixture that's keto approved so i'm making substitutes i also been watching your tiktok thank you i always post i just posted a tiktok earlier if y'all want to see some keto cinnamon sticks guys i always post quick recipes on tiktok i try to keep up with it okay i try my best to try to do one every day or every other day but i just posted a video on TikTok. those my my walmart might have them my walmart varies you know everybody's walmart varies so i'll look for them I try to try as much keto products as I can for y'all, but then I get comfortable because I know what I like. <laughs> but I try to show y'all different products. I do not have a discount for Sola Bread because they do not have an affiliate program. I have asked before or I have reached out to them before to try to get for y'all, but no, I do not have one. Hopefully soon they can come up with something and we can get one. Next live you race should make keto cocktails. You know what? I was actually thinking about that today, but um, I was like, you know, I didn't know if he would want to. So, okay, that's an idea for next week. We can do that on live because we have a lot of keto cocktails right now. We were experimenting. <laughs> Comment if y'all would like to see next live on Tuesday cocktails. Q&A. Or we can just sit down and talk. I like to just sit down and chat with y'all. Okay, let me get started. So, of course, we gotta go in with some onion. So, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some onion and garlic. You guys, I gotta use onion in everything I cook. I'm just gonna chop, I'm just gonna chop up this onion, but I'm probably not gonna use the whole thing. But I'll just have it chopped. What's up, Disney? Ray, saying hi over there. Uh, okay, so I hate chopping onion, guys, so I'll be crying right here. I got my chopper. These things come in handy off of Amazon. Just chop it right up. All right, we got some diced onion. Then I'm going to go in with some garlic. Let me catch up to y'all's comments. Drinking with Ray. <laughs> That would be hilarious. Oh my God, I've never seen Ray get like, you know, drunk because he's a big guy and it takes a lot 
and I always try to. So I'm always making his drinks like extra strong and it doesn't even phase him. We've been together almost 10 years and I have not seen him. Maybe once. I'm just chopping up some. I hate peeling garlic. Anybody else? I get to catch up with you guys on your own time. So where are you at? I know that's why I always have to put central because I get a lot of people from different time zones and sometimes it's hard for y'all to catch me. Hi, Sid Sydney. I've been wanting to start keto. I've been watching all your YouTube videos and you encourage me to go for it and I try my best. Love your results, girl. You got this. I got some awesome recipes on here. Hopefully you can enjoy them. Wait, will definitely fall off. I know you do keto meal prep, but I live in RGB area. I would really want to try your meal preps. Okay, you can message me. I'm not sure where that area is, um, but I only do it local. RGB's in the valley. It's from South Texas. Yeah, that's that's far. Yeah, I only do it local, guys. Okay, I got some garlic right here. No, I'm taking forever to peel. I was going to cook on this side because this is my favorite burner, but I'm going to cook closer to y'all. I got to have this one a little bit higher. You know how the burners, they kind of heat differently? I just made baked chicken thighs. Oh, I love chicken thighs, especially with some sugar-free barbecue sauce on top. You got to try that. It's delicious. Or you could use buffalo sauce, make them like buffalo thighs. You guys are in Texas, and I'm in California, so we're a few hours. I think you are two hours behind us. Because, yeah, I used to stay in California, so it's a little different. I made your chicken pot pie for dinner tonight. Oh, I haven't had that in a while. I like that for some cold weather. My husband took one bite and said, are you sure this is keto? It's good. Awesome. Happy you enjoy it. Don't you like that? That would like wings. Mmm, now I want some wings. Okay, I'm going to start sauteing. Oh, I forgot to grab my avocado oil. Let me grab my avocado oil. I need to refill my bottles. I'll be forgetting. Okay, I got some avocado oil. I have. I don't think I've ate today. I think I only had iced coffee because I love iced coffee. That's what I was drinking right here. We were busy today. I had to go this morning to my kids' school for their award ceremony and. They were, they, were, they were gonna have early release. They were supposed to get out at 1.30, but they ended up seeing us at the school, all three of them. They were like, we're going home. I'm like, oh my God. So they all came home early. Where do you find the Sola granola? In the granola section, like the store. I mean, it depends on your area. Not all stores have it, but I find mine at HEB. I wanna say Walmart might have it, but I get mine at HEB or Kroger has it. But, but it's by the regular granola aisle. All the regular granolas, you'll see the low carb ones. If not, if, if it's not in your area, the best thing you're gonna do is have to order it off their website. Okay, I'm gonna saute my onions. I'm only going to do half because this was a pretty good size onion. I'm losing onion. Have you tried the caramel waffle super coffee? Yes, I did. It was good. I actually really liked it. <laughs> but yeah, I tried it when they first came out with it. Love your show. Thank you so much. We're finally getting an H-E-B and I'm so excited. Oh, where are you at? Where do you live? Oh, you're going to be obsessed with H-E-B. You're going to spend some money there. Me and Ray are literally in H-E-B like every day. Like we know this, like the people that work there, they know we go there like all the time. So we're always making friends. What do you, babe? Safeway and Albertsons have keto granola. See, I don't have those stores next to me. <laughs> So, it, it, like I said, it varies, like, where you live. Y'all have different stores. I hope, oh, it's so scary. It, like, hurts my heart. I have family over there. Yeah, Ray there. has family in Yuvaldi, too. We go over there every now and then. Yeah, we go over there now, every now and then. Yes, we heard. We the river. Crushes my heart. Yeah, we went to Yuvaldi not too long ago. We went to the river with family. 
My cousin is moving to Texas. I told her about HB. Oh yeah. HB is everywhere. HB has the best the best stuff all the time. Like pre-made food, like HB has so much pre-made low carb keto food that you can just warm up, put it in the microwave. Like they have all kinds of stuff. It's just crazy. And my HEB, it depends on your area, but they're real popular with keto products. So they have a lot of keto stuff, which makes my... I need to buy something for garlic to mix it. Crisco, Texas, when I drive by it and see HEB Construction Progress, I get so excited. I would too. If I didn't have an HEB near me, they're finally getting one. Hi, new sub here. Love your content. Just starting keto myself. Thank you so much. I hope you learned a lot from my channel. If you ever need help, feel free to message me on my Facebook page, Keto with Sammy, and I'll get to your message as soon as I can. But if you ever need help, feel free to message me and I'll, I'll respond to you. Okay, I got my onion sauteed. I'm going to go ahead and add in my garlic. I like to saute my garlic a little bit before. Just don't burn it. Don't burn your garlic. I'm hoping this sloppy joe turns out really good. Oh, I'm losing onion. I just found out they have an HEB in driving distance for me. How did you just find that out? <laughs> Go, run. <laughs> Great job. Oh, okay. I'm hoping these come out really good. I'm starving. So I like to put cheese in my sloppy joe. Don't don't judge me, but I love me some cheese and pickles. And you can put like some fresh onion too. It's really good. Has anybody ever been to Bo Miller's in San Antonio? I love their chopped sandwiches. Heard from someone at work. Oh, okay. <laughs> was it hard for you to adjust to changing style when you started keto? It was, I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy. It's a lifestyle change, especially when you're the only person that's doing it. Like the rest of my family didn't do it. So it took a lot of like commitment in myself. In the beginning, I kind of struggled. I was like back and forth. I was trying to commit to keto, but my husband wasn't doing keto. We would always go out to eat. We would always love to try new foods. And he would always eat any regular foods in front of me. So it was really hard. But eventually I started seeing like changes and I was like, I want to keep going. I want to see how much more weight I can lose. I want to see how much changes I can make. And you just got to like really dedicate yourself. You really got to put your foot down and just do it. That's what I had to do. Uh <clears throat> I tried to have a meet and greet, uh, San Antonio. I try like every now and then I need to have one, but you know, a lot of people want to do a meet and greet, but it's hard to get everybody together at once. No yeah. Like nobody, I'll try to do meet and greet and people will say they want to go, but then nobody really like shows up. So I'm like, mm, you know, I gotta wait. I gotta wait till I'm more famous. You are beautiful. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I love Bill Miller. Oh, I love Bill Miller's too. That was like my jam. Okay. I don't want to burn my garlic. Hold on. Okay, we're going in with some ground beef. Of course. Where is my smasher? What are sloppy joes? I don't even know how to explain what sloppy joes are. Sloppy joe. How do you explain what sloppy joe is? I don't know how to explain it. It's ground beef, but it's in like a tomatoey sauce. And it's just sloppy and it's all, I don't know, it's just so good. You gotta look it up. <laughs> My husband's from San Antonio, from San Antonio is so, oh yeah. When I go to San Antonio, it's so hard to resist the food there. Like, I'm so glad I don't live there anymore because it's hard. They got some good food, they got some good tacos. Mexican food everywhere, life. I want to lose 20 pounds before my baby boy, boy third B day. You can do the entire thing myself. I'm now addicted to your channel. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, those chili cheese fries definitely cures that craving for some chili cheese fries because they were super good. Super good. I feel like jicama is probably the best replacement in my opinion. Okay, so I like to cook my ground beef first and then I'll season. Because I feel like it holds the seasoning more better. I got to drain a little fat here in a bit. 
You are famous. I'm not famous. Right Thank not. you, though. Ray says I'm not. Alexa said 50,000. Yeah, Ray says, or Alexa. I don't want to say it loud. She says, in order to be famous, you have to have 50,000 subscribers, guys. So we got to get my channel to 50,000 subscribers. So right now, stop what you're doing and share this video with all your family and friends. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We got to get me famous. <laughs> so I can throw it in Ray's face. <laughs> huh? Yeah, 50,000 to 100,000, you're considered fake. Eat the entire pan by myself. So I try not to make it too often. I used to live in San Antonio back in 2018 and moved back in 2019 to Edinburgh, Texas, but hoping I can move back to San Antonio. Oh, I love, I love San Antonio, guys. It's nice. If you've never been to San Antonio, you definitely got to go out there for the food, for the downtown. You know, they got a lot of stuff to do. Been so busy with graduate. Oh, yeah, graduations are going crazy. How are you doing today, Jodell? Sorry for pronouncing your name wrong. <laughs> Ground beef with sauce on a bun. That's basically what it is, right? Like a tomato sauce kind of thing. But it's so good. We grew up on eating Sloppy Joe from the can. The, which one is it? The, is it Manwich or something like that? That one's so good. Hi, Marissa. How are you? Oh, Marissa Rondon. You got my husband's last name. I hope one day to meet you and hang out. Definitely can. We definitely can. I hope so, too. Sloppy Joes were the best growing up. They definitely are. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, guys. I got to be careful. You got to have a picture on your profile. You know, if y'all message me, y'all interact with me that way on Facebook, I get to see who you are, you know, because you never know. So that's what I like to do. If you want to reach out to me, you can. You never know, start a friendship. Yep. I've been looking for a friend. <laughs> Ray said, you don't have friends. I'm like, I know. So I've been talking to a few girls, reaching out to me, guys. I need some friends. I need some mom friends. I need some regular friends. Okay, this is almost cooked through. I'll be getting on Ray's nerves. <laughs> I'll be getting on his nerves too much. I need a friend. I like to get my ground beef like really broken apart. These things, this thing is awesome. From Amazon, y'all need one of these. Cherry garlic. Okay, I'm going to drain my fat a little bit. Grease. Because I don't like it greasy. So what? I don't want to put it in my sink, so I'm going to put it in this bowl for right now. Throw it away later. Some ground beef. Okay, we drain the fat. Don't want it greasy. Turn back on my pee. Okay, we got that cooked through. Now we're gonna add some things. This is actually super simple to make. It's like, throw it all together in the pan, sloppy, slop it on a bun. Do you call, do you still drink Premier Protein with your ice? I do, I just don't do it every day anymore. I kinda do it mostly when I know I'm gonna be busy. So like um, Sundays are like my busiest days. I'll just grab one at the store real quick, have it in the morning. That's my meal. So I don't have them every single day anymore. I just have them when I when I really need it. Yeah, if y'all want to be my friend, message me on Facebook. <laughs> if you have, if I have pizza for the party, would it be okay to take the crust off to eat? Yes, you just eat the toppings. I love pizza in a bowl. Pizza in a bowl, guys. There's a lot of places like. If you're ordering pizza and if it's not like a big chain restaurant, usually like little chain restaurants will kind of do like a pizza on a bowl for you. Um, you can just ask them like, hey, is um, just a quick question. Is there any way you can do this for me? Can you just put toppings in a bowl? And a lot of places will actually do it. Jinker, jinker, let's go. I don't want to step on her. They're awesome for ground meat. I got mine from the Dollar Tree. Oh, cool. I ordered mine off of Amazon. I'll be your mom friend all day, every day. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Look at all these people. Y'all want to be my friend? I tell you, you play me in the video. I know. Yes. Ray said I need friends that I could video. <laughs> okay, we're going to season. We're going to go in with some salt for right now. Keep this on a low because it's pretty cooked through already. Some pepper. But I forgot. Okay, so I know for usually for sloppy joes, they use green bell pepper. But I didn't have green bell pepper on hand. Kind of red bell pepper is kind of the same thing. So I'm going to see which one I like better when I do the original or like the recipe video. Go, baby. When I do the recipe video. So right now I'm going to use red bell pepper and see how that goes. I don't have social media. Oh, I'm sorry. I just love the way you say bow. I <laughs> a lot of people say that. It's funny. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of red bell pepper that I have right here. So I'm going to dice it up. I'm just going to get this sauteed with the ground beef. Uh, I know. I need a Discord, guys. I'm not used to this sometimes. <laughs> I gotta get out of my comfort zone sometimes, guys. I'm like super shy. Like super shy. Like I get real nervous to try new things. <laughs> like I never saw myself being this person on YouTube because I am super shy. So it's just like weird to me still when I look back at it. Okay. What's single keto? Thank you. I got this at, off of Sheen, I think. Sickle go keto is where you carb cycle, carb cycle. So most of the days that you'll do keto and like maybe like once or twice a week, you'll do carb cycling, which is what I'm trying to do. But I really need to like put my foot down and get on track with it because I'm kind of, I've been super busy guys. So I'm kind of like all over the place with it right now. But since the kids are out of school now, I'm, I'm going to put my foot down and I, I'm going to uh, really do carb cycling. But I don't recommend it if you're first starting keto. You gotta be long term. How do you, how to do keep keto when you, you're in a carne asada? Like, how do you make carne asada keto? Is that what you're talking about? Or make one? I have a video on how to make keto carne asada. If y'all look back in my older videos, I have one. Uh, if you're talking about guisada, I have guisada. Asada. That's technically keto, right? It's just the meat. Hey, Ray. Nancy says hi. Laurie, it's a blessing and a curse. Isn't it? <clears throat> okay. We're going to salt. I'm just getting the bell pepper saute. Add salt, pepper. We're going to go in with a little bit of, I can't pronounce this, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Y'all know what I'm talking about. With your sire. I kind of eyeball everything, but I'm probably going to put it in about a tablespoon. Give it some good flavor. Don't be shy if you want to uh, make a Facebook. Your Facebook. Yeah, y'all got to make a Facebook. I have Instagram too, but I'm, I go on there, you know, for keto, but I'm always on Facebook. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of mustard, just a teaspoon. Lower my heat a bit. I want the Worcestershire sauce to really get in there. Okay. Oh no. Having your jalapeno poppers and burgers for dinner. Ooh, love me some jalapeno poppers. Enjoy. What burger, what bread replacement are you using? Are you doing lettuce wrap? Are you using some low carb bread? What you using? friends and a lot of times I don't talk to people online because I'm used to this way of communicating I need to learn how <laughs> oh yes you definitely gotta put yourself out there make some new friends that's what I keep telling myself I'm just talking to everybody and I'm like hi <laughs> all shy on the side I want to taste this real quick 
to see if it needs any more salt or anything. Sauce. Mm. There's a little bit more salt. If you go butter into that, you might have made it finish. What? What is it good? Girl, I gave up on social media like six years ago. <laughs> well, my life is pretty much on here, so I gotta be on social media. Just going bunless, no lettuce. Awesome, yeah. I love bunless too. I like to just eat it like that. You know how it has some good burger bowls? Have you ever been to Five Guys? I love Five Guys. They're kind of pricey. I'm so sad that we don't have one next to us anymore. It's kind of a distant. But if you have Five Guys near you guys, they have burger bowls and they're super good because you can put all the toppings in it. And they also have lettuce wrap, but I like their burger bowls. I don't know why. But they're super good. For on the go, for like a quick um, grab and go. Uh, what? Just don't get their fries. I know they're hard to resist. Their Cajun fries are so good, but their burgers are good. Hi, Sammy and Ray. Can't, try, can't wait to try the cinnamon stick recipe you put up. Looks delicious. Thank you. Hopefully you enjoy it. I enjoyed it. It was so good. Friday night, I made an appetizer meal. Jalapeno poppers, pork grinds, and goat cheese. I, you know what's funny? I actually haven't tried goat cheese. How does goat cheese taste? Because I haven't tried it, and I've been very tempted to, but I'm nervous that I'm not going to like it. Okay, so Sloppy Joe is like a tomatoey sauce. So we're going in with some ketchup. We got to go in with sugar-free ketchup. This is the one that I use. Um, I go back and forth. They have like the, what brand is it? There's different brands of sugar-free ketchup. This is probably the more cleaner one. Uh, this is made by Primal Kitchen. It's a little bit pricey. The taste is a little bit different, but it's still pretty good. Um, Primal Kitchen, they have a lot of sauces. Very clean ingredients. It's their organic ketchup. It's unsweetened. Um, I got this at HEB, and I know Walmart has them, and they have a lot of sauces. Um, but it's only two net carbs per tablespoon and 10 calories. So, yeah, I, I don't know how it tastes. I also made bacon-covered dates. Oh, I don't think I've ever tried dates. Yes, I did a video on the cinnamon sticks. Not on YouTube, it's on my TikTok. Keto Sammy, it's on TikTok. I just posted it today. Goat cheese is good, slightly sour. See, that's what I was scared of. I don't like sour stuff. I mean, I used to, not no more. Okay, I'm gonna try one third cup of our ketchup and see how that goes. Remember, I'm testing out this recipe, so I wanna see if I need more later on when I wanna do official video on this and how it goes. I actually been wanting to do this video on keto sloppy joes because I had made sloppy joes the last time for my family and I was like, oh, I got to do a video on it. So this is my chance to test it out. Oh, let's go and need more ketchup. I like my saucy. It's, it's supposed to be sloppy. Sorry if I miss y'all's comments. I'm trying to look as I go. Okay. I don't love goat cheese. Has a weird smell. I can't get over. Ah, you're making me not want to try it. <laughs> goat cheese is the same texture as cream cheese. See, I love cream cheese, but cream cheese is like not sour. Sauce on them. Take some sugar-free barbecue sauce if that's what you want. But I, every time I go to a cookout, like if y'all saw my video at Nancy's house, my what I eat in a day, every time I go to a barbecue cookout, I grab me some low-carb tortillas. I take them with me. Usually I make my own sides. I'll take my sides. I don't care. I'm taking my sides. And a lot of people like keto sides too. Like my friend Nancy requested the broccoli salad. I'll make me my sides. So you just have to hold yourself accountable. You kind of, you know, take it if you know nothing, all the sides over there aren't going to be keto. Just make small ones. Usually I make jalapeno poppers. I'll make my broccoli salad. Um, there's a lot of sides, like zucchini. Whatever you want to take, make sure you have some low-carb tortillas on hand if you're tempted. Um, take some low-carb chips if that's what you want. Some Quest chips maybe, some chicharrones. Take little snacks for yourself. Even if you have to take some drinks, you kind of just... If you want to stay on track, you got to do it yourself and take it. 
But you know, all the meat is pretty good usually. It's just the tortillas really for me. Okay, I feel like this needs something. Hold on. I feel like I need to add a little chick or beef broth. No, oh, that's so good. But I want it to be more sloppy. Hold on. I guess I'm going to add a little water. Okay, if y'all have beef broth, I think next time I'll try to do it with beef broth. But I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Just to make it a little bit more saucy. It's a bit. But it tastes super good. But I think I'm running out of this ketchup. So I think a cup of ketchup is going to do. Like next time I make this recipe. Okay, I'm going to let this simmer for a little bit. The Worcestershire sauce is perfect. The salt. The red bell peppers is pretty good, but I feel like green bell peppers might have a slight different taste to it. Maybe next time I'll try it with the green bell peppers. What else do y'all like to add to your sloppy joes? Does anybody make homemade sloppy joes at all? That's what I forgot. Okay, I know what I'm missing. Duh, it's over here sitting here. I'm adding brown sugar. So this is a brown, I know I'm running out because I just used it earlier, I got it some more, but you're gonna add very little. So this is Swerve a brown sugar. It's a sugar replacement. I'm just gonna add a tablespoon. And this is going to add that sweetness to it. It's going to be so good. I knew I was missing something. I think I'll be testing these recipes out. Oh, yeah. This way of eating has definitely changed my life. Not just by, like, weight-wise, guys. Just, like, how you feel. Like, it really does affect you. Because I remember, like, if I have a treat day, depending on what I eat. Before, like, when I first started keto and I was trying to, like, have treat dates, woo, it would affect me so bad. You just feel so different. So bloated and tired, just eating all the bad carbs, you know what I mean? Okay, we'll let this simmer for a minute. Any suggestions for quick dinners for when you get home late and your eyes are the different color? Oh, yeah, I'm wearing contacts, guys. I'm wearing contacts. <laughs> um, quick dinners. I feel like protein and veggies are always your best way to go. If you need to meal prep, I highly recommend to meal prep ahead of time maybe take i know some people are busy but try to take at least one day out of the week to prepare something at least maybe the proteins or the sides but i feel like just protein and veggies and just add a little fat on the side like an avocado maybe when i was when i first started keto that was like always my go-to just like bacon and eggs real quick um some steak and eggs and like a side of veggies or some steak and asparagus um quick ground beef stuff like this you can make some skillets i have so many skillet recipes on my channel that you can make up real quick you just gotta plan ahead basically hi honda mommy thank you honda mommy. <laughs> it's honda mommy cook up chicken thighs and then shred you can make taco castor yep so you gotta like rotisserie chickens are good so convenient to have on hand I made your stuffed Cajun portobello mushrooms. Ooh, I haven't had those in a while. And I could swear I use swear I used goat cheese because it was one of the ingredients listed. What? You know what? I think I did use goat cheese, right? That video is like super old. That was probably Yeah. I did use goat cheese. That's funny that you bring that up. That was like a long time ago. My husband made keto sloppy joes over the weekend for me. He put sugar-free barbecue sauce and sugar-free ketchup. Ooh. Hmm. I'll try some sugar-free barbecue sauce. I don't know. I put the brown sugar. We'll see. Let me try this. Mm. Oh. Yes. This is really good. But I do, I like the red bell pepper in it, but I think next time I'm using green bell pepper. You were out. I was just out today i cheated with sushi my stomach felt like a brick hit it <laughs> but i honestly don't blame you because i love sushi <laughs> but yeah you'll feel it you'll feel the difference okay i'm gonna i'm gonna turn this off this is done super quick and easy to make and it's delicious so delicious do you worry about your calorie intake to being too hard does it even matter so in the beginning when i first started my journey i didn't i do recommend to it does help 
It helps um, your weight fall off faster when you are paying attention to both. But I did it in the beginning. It all just It's all up to you and how you feel. If you're still losing weight, just doing net carbs, then hey, do you. But if, if you go down the weight and you hit a stall, then I would definitely pay attention to your calorie intake too. <clears throat> Hold on, let me catch up to y'all. Ground beef too, you can make taco bowl, lasagna bowl. Oh yeah, you know it's funny, I actually thought about making, making lasagna bowl tonight. I was like, I just ate lasagna. I love lasagna all the time. Your chicken bacon ranch, oh, that's so good too. That's funny because when Dion was here, that's his favorite too. He literally messaged me the other day asking if I could make some for him and he'd pay me. I'm like, what? Because <laughs> he loves that chicken bacon ranch. Mm -hmm. I can't stop signing your cute, singing your Keto with Sammy song. My sons are, aw, thank y'all. I miss it, the Keto with Sammy song. It was time to change it up though. Hello, how are you? I was craving hot links with mustard. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, with a low carb tortilla. That's what I like. Low carb tortilla with some sausage and mustard and a little bit of hot sauce. So good. Calories don't count until they do. Oh, that's a good one. This is ready. Now let's go ahead and toast up. I like to get my bread a little toasted. We're going to try this. I have a mess over here. Don't pay attention. I'm going to put a little parsley in my... Sloppy Joe, because it adds a little color, makes it look all nice and pretty. What is this, babe? The green leaves? The green leaves. My whole family love the chicken bacon ranch. Awesome! Glad you enjoyed it. It's so quick to make, too. I love it. So boring with all my game setup. <laughs> so, okay, so this setup that's right here on this video. This is where this setup, it's like rolls around and Ray has his gaming laptop right here. <laughs> so I took his gaming laptop so he has to suffer over there and I play his games <laughs> while I'm doing my live. Okay, let me start this. So I like to get my buns toasted. You got to keep it on low though because low carb bread tends to burn faster. Jinky go, Jinky. Every time I cook, Jinky has to be over here. But every time I back up, I, I don't remember she's behind me and then I get nervous to step on her. Tracking is so stressful. It is, guys. I don't track all the time. It's not like... In the beginning, I did. I recommend. If you're first starting on a keto, you definitely got to track... Hello! You definitely got to track your carb intake and all that stuff, especially in the beginning. But guys, I have been on keto for three years. It is not convenient for me to track every day, you know? But I do recommend in the beginning. Yeah, it definitely will help if you're just starting out. The Call of Duty setup. So not my setup. If that big setup that y'all see in my room, that's mine. But this setup, it's different for him. It's, it's nice though. It's nice though. Like he made it real nice. I wish I could like, show y'all, but I, I can't show you. I can charge my phone. <laughs> I can charge my controller and his. Yeah, kit. so he's been playing in the living room and I've been playing in the room. To, we always play together. But I'm going to post it right now. If um, I didn't know, guys, we love to play games. I'm going to post it on Keto with Sammy. Okay, we're going in with one burger. Bun. Tracking is stressful. In the beginning, I just track my carbs and it seemed to work with me. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I do in the beginning. In the beginning, I stayed away from like, um, so when I started keto, it wasn't popular, guys. It got popular over time. But when I first started, they didn't have all like the keto desserts and the keto ice creams and this. They didn't have the replacements and all that. So in the beginning, I stayed away from all of that. I would limit myself to like desserts and things like that because that's like the fastest way I drop. So you definitely got to limit yourself to desserts and snacking. You can't, sn I mean, of course you can have snacks, but limit yourself at least um, in the beginning and you will drop weight like that. <clears throat> Guess I have to miss out on a lot of your recipes because I see you on YouTube only. Maybe you can put some other recipes on you. Oh, I have a lot of... Uh, recipes on here and I'm putting out a lot more okay so we're gonna toast our buns I'm just going in with some olive oil spray a lot of people don't realize guys but I have tons of good recipes back in my older videos like a lot because when I first started YouTube like that like of course I do like the what I eat in the days but when I first started my YouTube it was all about recipes so I have a lot of recipes back there did you get to have wine I don't drink <laughs> Now I do, like, every now and then, but I don't drink wine. 
I rarely drink. We just started having a few drinks here and there these past weeks because we like to like sit down with our gaming friends and have a few drinks and chit chat and stuff like that. But I am not a big drinker, guys. I would drink like one or two, especially when you're on keto, guys. Like if y'all don't realize, y'all don't have the carbs, so y'all will get a little bit tipsy faster, so you gotta be careful. But I will tell you, my mom is the one that introduced me to keto, and she used to live in Italy, and she would have a glass of wine every day, and she still lost weight doing it. So it all just depends on you. If you want to, that's totally up to you. If you're doing fine, it's a lifestyle. If you want to have a glass of wine every single day and you're doing fine in your weight loss, hey, that's good for you. You should do it. Your hair looks real nice. I like it. Oh, thank you. All those recipes, do you have the net carbs? So this recipe I'm testing out um, today. This is like a test recipe, but I want to put out an official video for it, so I will. And usually all my recipe videos, if you go in the description, you drop the description, they all have the macros in there. So this one I will put out soon. I'm just testing it out and I will break down the macros for y'all. <clears throat> the teal blue pot is beautiful. Thank you. I actually got this at Target a long time ago. It was like the Chrissy Teigen brand and they were on sale. And I thought it was super pretty too so I picked one up. I don't know if they have them anymore though. I don't want to burn my buns. I'm just getting them toasted. I just have to get back to it, but I love watching your keto videos. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I do challenges monthly. If y'all want to get back on keto, if y'all are trying to get back on track, I do challenges all the time. Right now, we're doing the 30-day challenge, but um, it's almost over. I think we're on, like, day 23, um, and I'm going to do another challenge. I want to do, like, a summer workout challenge. Of course, incorporating keto like doing keto 30 days, but also doing like a workout challenge with, with it because I need to get back on track with working out too because I'm always off and on because I get so busy. But I want to do that. Is that a good idea? Do y'all think that's something y'all would want to do? Not like an extreme workout. I feel like um, somebody, y'all can do y'all's own workout. Whatever y'all would like to do as long as it's like 30 minutes every day or like five days a week, you know what I mean? I feel like it'd be a good challenge. Toasted bread is going to be icing on top. Oh, yeah. With some cheese. Do y'all like cheese in y'all sloppy joes? Because that's what I'm doing. Sammy, do you think the ice machine is worth the cost? Oh, I love my ice machine. Yes, I love it. There's a lot of different brands, though. This one I got from Sam's Club. This is the Frigidaire one, and so far I really like it. Because I have a fridge with the ice machine on there, but it don't work no more. So that's why we got this one. You've helped me so much on my keto journey. You have taught me a lot. Thank you. I'm so happy I could be a help on your journey, guys. Makes me super happy. That's what I'm here for. I love Target. You know, I hardly go to Target. Isn't that weird? I hardly go to Target. I do like Target, though. You know what I like Target for? Like, they have cute house stuff, but I try not to look at it. But I like Target for the kids' clothes. Like, their shirts and their pajamas and stuff, they're super cute. But we don't go to Target that often. Yeah, it's expensive. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. I mean, it's not that bad. But it's nice. Okay, my buns are toasted. Look at this. Got our buns nice and toasty. We're going to put this sloppy joe sauce on here. It's supposed to be sloppy. I know when I eat, I'm going to get red lipstick all right here on my chin, so y'all better not make fun of me. Then I like to add cheese. Guys, y'all can literally do this dinner in like less than 20 minutes. It just took a while because I'm talking to y'all and I'm testing out the recipe. But it's super quick. You don't, If you don't have these burger buns, you can just use some low-carb uh, bread too. Like regular bread. That very day salsa you made was slaps. Oh, you tried it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was so good. I literally wanted to eat the whole pan. You can also do, if y'all don't eat pork, um, you can also do it with chicken. It's good too, like that. I know some people don't eat pork like my husband doesn't eat pork okay I'm gonna add a little bit of shredded cheese my H-E-B my H-E-B is a vlog bag usually when I put cheese I just add like one fourth cup okay I try not to go crazy we're gonna go in with some Dale Dixie pickles the best pickles out there I love the refried bean recipe 
I was thinking about it today. You know what I want to test out? Um, like keto chalupas. You know what I mean? I want to make some keto chalupas. And I wanted to do a video on it for y'all. But, you know, there's going to be some steps to it, guys. We can't have beans on keto. So you definitely got to make your own beans. You got to make your own tostadas. So sometimes some of the recipes got some steps to it. But in the end, it's going to be worth it. Okay, I got some pickles on here. I'll show y'all right now. And then I like jalapenos, but I'm going to keep them off to the side because I want to try this by itself. This is my dinner, so I'm dressing it up. Okay, see how quick that was? All right, we got our sloppy, low-carb sloppy joe. Let me show you up here. Testing out this recipe might make a few tweaks here and there, would I, but I will put out an official video for y'all. If y'all want to, um, this, this recipe right here is super good, but I will put on an official video for y'all so y'all can save it. We got pickles, the cheese, the sloppiness. I got some jalapenos over here just to try with it. Yes, it's better than Walmart for kids. Yeah, I like Walmart. Every, I, Walmart shirts are cute, but the quality of Targets are better because Walmarts tend to shrink and Targets don't. That's my dinner for tomorrow. Enjoy, because I'm about to try it right now. Okay, let's give this a try first. Wait, baby, you want to come take a picture? We got to take a picture. Hold on. I got to call my photographer. <laughs> my photographer. Oh, yeah, you can get that. Huh? Yeah, it's on the charger. I want to keto fight a taco lasagna recipe I have with it. Ooh, do it. I want to make a seven layer bean dip. Yeah, I made, uh, I want to do that too. Okay. That looks good. Oh, yeah, I'm ready to dig in. Oh, I love toasted buns. All right, guys, let's dig in. Might get a little messy, don't make fun of me. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mm. I definitely need the green bell pepper though, just for that kick to it. But mm. this is so good. Yes. I say this is a successful recipe. Trying out a new recipe. Really good. I love the ketchup in it, the Worcestershire sauce. You can even taste like the brown sugar to it, the little sweetness. Love pickles and cheese in it. You can keep that out. If you don't like pickles, you don't have to have pickles. But me growing up in my sloppy joes, I always had cheese and pickles in it, and it was always really good. So 10 out of 10, guys. This is so good. That solo bread is delicious, nice and toasted. I recommend to toast it. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Now, all this needs is some jicama fries on the side. Some jicama fries. You got yourself a fry replacement on the side. If you don't want that, you can do some low-carb chips. Or you can just have it like this. But I love me some fries with my burgers. I'm going to try it with the jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Make Oh, you just missed it. We just finished the sauerkraut. Ooh, I feel like sauerkraut will actually go good with this, right? Hmm. The audio quality is awesome. Thank you so much. We are testing out a new system, so I'm glad you are enjoying it. So how was it? How was the video? How's the video? Ray's asking how's the video quality too. Does it look good? Like, so I can keep this set up. I like onion and mustard on mine. Yeah, I was gonna put onion too, but I I saute the onion in the ground beef. But if you like fresh onion, that'll be good too. And I put the weekend whenever I'm gonna make it. Feel free to post some pictures on my Facebook, guys. I love to communicate with y'all. I love to see dinners that y'all make of mine or anything y'all make to give people different ideas. But if y'all happen to make this, post some pictures on my Facebook. Keto with Sammy. If y'all don't follow me there, go follow me. Even on Instagram, you can go follow me there and post some stuff. Yes, great quality. Love it. Looks awesome, Ray. 
Awesome. Yes, I will be releasing a video recipe soon. This was the testing part. I might make a few changes, of course. Um, but overall, really good. I will put out this recipe video for y'all. So y'all can go ahead and save it. I'll do it this week. This week coming up. Ray said, thanks guys. Took some time, but it seems like it's A1 now. Looks really good, babe. Ray's my tech guy. I told him earlier. I was like, thank you. It looks really good. Came out really nice, our setup. It helps because before I was using like another setup, but I feel like it was just too small. Like it wouldn't get everything. And you know what I mean? I really wanted y'all to see my whole kitchen when I do lives. Especially cooking ones. The other one was just too close. <clears throat> and it was kind of in and out sometimes. Beautiful setup. I hear it straight from my phone then YouTube. Awesome. Yeah, we'll post a picture of how our setup looks so y'all can get an idea. I'm over here eating my dinner in front of y'all. Good boo. I'm so good. You guys rock my favorite keto channel. Thank you. Yeah, it makes me feel so good. I missed some comments. So I'm going to go back real quick. The first ice machine I bought from Walmart that didn't last a second. One I got from Sam's Club that didn't last. I'm trying to find out. Really? Because this is the one I got from Sam's Club. And we've had it almost a year, right, babe? What? Which one? Did, did you get this one from Sam's Club? What? This ice machine. They were saying that they got one from Sam's Club. It didn't last. Yeah, that's one from Sam's Club. Yeah, this is the one from Sam's Club. But I'm saying we had it almost a year, right? Pretty much. Almost a year, I think. Yeah. Don't jinx it. <laughs> I hate that I'm getting in on the end of the live, but I'm definitely going to rewatch. Yes, rewatch it for this recipe. It's so good. We can keep going. We got time. Yeah, I'm not ending it right now. What fat percentage do you use for ground beef? Um, I can't remember. Usually I get, I think it's lean ground beef. I, I want to say, what are the percentages? Was it 90 to something? I think it was lower than that. I kind of, I kind of, uh, jump between ground, I, I usually get ground chuck, is what I usually get. I love mine too. Great investment with the ice maker, yeah. The ice maker we wanted was on TikTok, was like $600. Yeah, there was an ice maker that we wanted. It came out with that little ice. Y'all know what ice I'm talking about, like the little perfect ices. But they were like six hundred dollars. This like one, viral. huh? It was yeah, it was like viral on TikTok, and it was like six hundred dollars, and we were like, no. This one, I can't remember how much it was. How well, much was? Oh yeah. <laughs> Guys, have y'all seen my order videos? A long time ago, we bought a three hundred dollar toaster because it was like digital. We still have it, but I I barely use. <laughs> It was my own TikTok, but it's like a touch toaster and it has like different settings for like bagel, bread, pop tarts, waffles. It has all these different settings, but it was like $300 and I rarely use it. <laughs> the Sonic Ice, kind of like that, but I think it was like a little bit bigger. <clears throat> but overall, I really like my ice maker. My mom wanted to get one too. Because my mom has like a bar at her house, like a bar set up, like with wine and all that stuff. So she wanted like a little ice maker. I don't know if Sam's Club still has those. The last time I went, they had like red ones, I believe. But it was hard to find this one again. Like this color. What's it called? Same as still. I'm sure that toaster, yeah, I still have my toaster. I just rarely use it. I, I only bring it out like when I'm actually gonna use it because it was sitting on my countertop and I don't have a lot of room sometimes on my countertops. So I kind of just put it up. Yes, I do have a, if y'all go back in my older videos, I have a recipe for keto lasagna. I have a recipe with the noodles that I made in my last what I eat in a day, which were like noodles made with egg and cheese. I have that recipe. I have a recipe on keto lasagna made with zucchini 
and I have a recipe on keto lasagna made with cabbage. I used to eat that keto lasagna cabbage all, I have to burn, all the time. Sorry guys, I'm eating over here. All the time, I used to eat the keto lasagna cabbage all the time. So good. I don't care what kind of lasagna it is, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> And I have, oh, I also have a lasagna chicken. So I have a recipe on a stuffed lasagna chicken. That one's good. I have a lot of lasagna recipes, if y'all haven't noticed. <laughs> Especially good for my iced coffee. Yeah, I drink, I always put this in my iced coffee. Guys, I ate this whole sloppy joe. Well, kind of. I have like a bite left. This was super good. So I'm putting out the recipe video for y'all this upcoming week since I tested it out and I really enjoyed it your lasagna stuffed chicken is so good yeah that one's good and it's super simple to make like it's chicken breast stuffed with cheese ricotta um red sauce super good and they're great for meal prep like if you are somebody looking for a lot of meal prep ideas guys I have a lot of recipes even though they might not say meal prep there's a lot of recipes on here that you can definitely meal prep ahead of time I love those egg wraps you used last week. You can do so much with them. Yeah, I really enjoyed them. I actually, um, I ended up using them too fast. <laughs> and I need to go buy more. So I tested it out with the noodles, guys. And then I did a TikTok, if y'all had saw it. I did some, like, egg life wraps. So I got the egg life wrap. I put turkey meat in there. I put bacon. Um, what else did I put? Avocado, I believe. And I wrapped it. It was super good. Some, It's great for some quick wraps. That was really good. And I saw somebody posted on my Facebook page. They kind of, since I made the Alfredo, they did like a red sauce with meatballs. It looked really good. I was like, oh, I need to make that. <laughs> Some red sauce with the meatballs. I've been watching all your old recipe videos. I look so awkward. Don't look at them. So if I recommend y'all to go to my old recipe videos, don't make fun of me, okay? Because I was getting mad at me. He's like, just be yourself. I'm like, I don't know how. I'm shy. <laughs> It was so funny. So yeah, I'm super awkward in my, all my older videos, but I love it. I love to go back and see like the progress that I made in videos and just like progress overall. It, I love it. Wow, I'm going to try the lasagna with cabbage. Yeah, go back and look at it. It's super good. Same. It's a little messy, but it's good. Same. I'm always meal planning and I'm like, what's Sammy cooking for us this week? I know. I love meal planning. I feel so off track. Like, if I don't plan on my meals, I feel, like, lost. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like guessing what I'm having. You mentioned once you go shop for specific recipes, but do you have items you always have on hand? I do. I always have items on hand. Um, just, like, the basics. Like, eggs, my iced coffee, cheese, heavy cream, half and half. Like, there is basic stuff that I always have on hand. Cucumbers strawberries but if i'm planning on my meals and there's things like that i need for that recipe then yeah i go buy that stuff but there is always stuff that i have on hand the basics pretty much you know <clears throat> you may, okay sorry i was going past the comments i love the little dance you do in the old recipe videos <laughs> wait what dance in the intro yeah, i'm always dancing but you're talking about the intro I'm always dancing, but you know what? I can't dance. <laughs> I never repeat the recording. I am a bad dancer. I have no rhythm, okay? No rhythm at all. But I'm always doing little dances, but I don't let Ray catch him on video. I am so awkward with dancing. I've always been like that. Like, when I was younger, and you know, you go to like quinceaneras and stuff, and everybody's trying to dance, and I'm like, I don't know how to dance. <laughs> like, all awkward. Um, I wish I could dance. Busy with home renovations tomorrow. So much love and respect. Night night. Good night, everybody. I know it's getting a little late. Everybody has to work sometimes, so I'll probably jump off here in a bit. But if y'all have any last minute questions, feel free to comment. Have that. It was super good. I really enjoyed it, as y'all could tell, because I tore it up. So definitely make this for you and your family. Even your kids will love it. They won't even know. Just sneak it in there. Sneak in some healthy meals. Yes, the intro when you're by the stove. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my old house. That's where I started. That's where we started. That, 
that house is not even there anymore guys if y'all look at my older videos i used to live in like this little apartment it's not there no more they knocked it down it's not there yeah, they put a gas station. They put a big gas station for trucks and everything. I was saying earlier, ice makers work for about a year and then they start breaking down. Oh no. Hopefully mine doesn't. Hopefully it stays good because I love it. Out of the week, I meal plan half and wean the other half. Hey, sometimes we gotta do that. Sometimes I will, sometimes, like this past like two weeks, guys, I've been kind of off track with planning i kind of been like planning the day of or I'll plan like for two days and then I'll go back to the store or whatever because we've been so busy. But um, leftovers are always good. I always have leftovers. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to eat leftovers tomorrow. There's no need to go to the grocery store. So leftovers are always good too. <clears throat> I meal plan because of you. It makes keto so much easier. Yeah, it definitely does, guys. It helps you stay on track. Like a lot of people ask me, oh, how do you stick with it? Meal planning. You got a meal plan because you don't want to be guessing what you're eating every day because and then you just give in to something bad because fast food is always a way to go or, you know, just something at home real quick. You don't want to give in to that. There is some fast food options, of course. I always have videos on those too. I have fast food option videos, but I definitely recommend a plan. Did you notice a difference in, in your skin? So I've always had real clear skin, but I did notice... A bit more it felt more like like glowy and more clear but I've always had clear skin but I have seen people notice the difference in their skin I noticed the difference well of course like I was heavier so I had a lot of like back pain like I had a if y'all know what the sciatic nerve right here is man I would get bad pain right here to where I couldn't even walk and ever since I lost a lot of weight nothing i'll get it every once in a while like if i'm if i'm doing a lot throughout the day if i'm constantly on my feet every now and then it'll hurt but ever since i lost a lot of weight that pain went away when ray was trying to do keto his back pain went away like it helps a lot thanks for letting us in your kitchen i love the recipe can't wait to try thank you post some pictures on my facebook page I typically pick three meals out of meal prep for the week because typically it's four servings and gets me and my partner through. Yeah, that definitely helps. And it helps to save on money too. Things are expensive right now, guys. You got, definitely got a plan. It helps because before when I was like, when I first like got with Ray and we were starting our family and things like that, I used to not plan meals and we would spend a lot of money at the grocery store because you're in there guessing what to make. So that helps too when you definitely do plan ahead of time. It helps you stay on budget because you're getting what you get, you know, on your list. What alcohol did you try that was good? Um, let me get it real quick. So we showed in our last live. These are the only ones that I still have at the moment because I haven't drank all of them. But this one, super good. A little strong because I don't drink. So it might not be strong to y'all. But Smirnoff, they have their zero sugar infusions and they have a lot of different flavors. This one is a strawberry and rose and I really enjoyed it. This I drink with a Sprite Zero um, or you can do club soda and you can add, uh, did they say it was club soda? You could go online and like look up different mixes that they have on their website. But club soda was really good. Sprite Zero is really good. So strawberry, rose, Smirnoff, super good, different flavors. And then I tried this one, the Truly Flavored Vodka. They have three different flavors in this one. This one is the Wild Berry. Really good. I tried this one with the Sprite Zero too. Because, you know, these are flavored, so I feel like Sprite Zero is kind of like a basic soda that you can mix with them. So those were really good. Um, or usually you can just go with any type of vodka, rum. Um, I like this one, the Captain Morgan. This I'll mix with the Zero Sugar, the Minimades. Let me show you. It's, it's in back of my fridge, there's too much stuff. <laughs> I got too much stuff. But anyways, Minute Maid makes zero sugar fruit punch and then makes zero sugar lemonade. So good. So the fruit punch, I'll mix with this too. The lemonade, you can even get the lemonade and mix the berry with it. That's really good. Um, so Minute Maid has the zero sugars. <sighs> Hold on guys, let me get through these comments because you know. Okay.
Okay. So, yeah. Those are pretty much the ones that I have tried. Um, there's a lot of zero sugar sodas that you can mix it with. You can mix it with zero sugar Dr. Pepper, zero sugar... Uh, they have Coke, right? I'm not a big soda drinker. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to try once I get through these. I will try some different mixes for y'all. The flavor ones don't have any carbs. So, it all just depends. Do they have it on here? I don't think the Truly one has the label on here, but it's zero sugar. I know the Smirnoff one does. So, just to give y'all a little um, idea of how many carbs. So, for this one, this flavor, they might range on flavors. So this one is the 1.5 fluid ounces um, per serving. It's 0 0.5 calories. No, I'm lying. Calories is 72, 0 0.5 alcohol, zero carbs, zero grams of fat, zero protein. So zero carbs. Only, it only has calories. No carbs. No, I'm just kidding. Don't drink the whole thing. But yeah, no carbs. I don't know about this one because it doesn't have it on here. I'll have to look it up. But honestly, I mean, it might be the same thing. It might be really no carbs. So when I mix this with the Sprite Zero, it was a zero carb drink because the Sprite Zero didn't have carbs either. Where did you buy the Smirnoff? We went to an uh, we went to Specs. I was like, we went to Specs. I went to like a, a, a alcohol store to get them. You're drinking it with Sprite Zero right now. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Mini Maid Zero Sugar have hidden. Yes, they do. All those drinks do have hidden sugars, guys. You have to have them in moderation, but it's summer. Enjoy it every now and then, you know? Mini Maid does have hidden sugars as well as Sprite Zero. All the diet drinks will have hidden sugars in them. Just have them in moderation. The only drink, the only sodas that, that no, the only soda that's not going to have hidden sugars are these right here. If you're trying to stay away from hidden sugars, Zivia is the way to go. Zivia is a clean soda. They're a little pricey. They have different flavors. This is cherry cola. They have like a Dr. Pepper flavor, a Coca-Cola, root beer, cherry cola. Root beer is the best. The root beer is the best in Ray's opinion. Um, it is. But you have to have them cold. Do not drink them warm. Um, but you can find these in the regular soda aisle at the end of the aisle. They're a little pricey, but if you want a cleaner version of a soda, get these on hand. And then you can mix your alcohol with these so it's more clean for you. But yeah, they're called Zivia. They're zero carbs, zero sugar, zero protein, zero calories, zero all across the board. It's a carbonate, it says carbonated water. It's sweetened with stevia, stevia leaf extract, tar tar tartaric acid, you know, all that stuff, caffeine and all that stuff. But it's sweetened with stevia, so it's a really good sweetener. I went to the store to get the Smirnoff and they didn't have it. Oh, no. <laughs> they had a lot where I was. Yeah, you got to be on the hunt for it. My favorite drink is Dr. Pepper Zero Cream Soda. Oh, Ray likes that one too. Right, babe? Did you like that one, the cream one, the Dr. Pepper? I can't remember. Okay, so the Truly one, I just looked up on the page, has six grams of net carbs per... Oh, that's a little... That's not too bad. Depending on how many drinks you're going to drink. So if you're looking for a zero carb drink, then Smirnoff is the one. I haven't tried Zivia. Yeah, it's good. It's a little different, guys. It's not like a regular soda, but it's good. Once you get used to it, it's pretty good. I like them. Bye. See y'all later. I like the Zivia. The cherry color is my favorite. Yep, this one's so good. That's why I love cherry everything. Oh, speaking of cherry, guys, I have like Jordan Skinny Syrup cherry flavors. So if you take like just like a vodka or rum, you mix it with the Sprite Zero, you add a splash of the Jordan Skinny Syrup cherry flavor. So good. Jordan Skinny Syrup has a lot of different flavors that you can get your hands on and they have margarita mixes. So if you are a big margarita drinker, I have tons of them. They have zero sugar margarita mixes that you can get your hands on. You can go to their website. I do have a discount code Keto with Sammy if y'all would like to order some for summer. They have a lot of great mixes that you can get your hands on. They even have mojito mixes. Zero sugars. Yeah, guys, the hidden sugars, yeah, definitely. It's in everything, you know? I mean, it's kind of like give or take, you know? Yeah, the Smirnoff is really good. I can't do much carbonation. See, me neither. I'm not a big soda drinker, but every now and then I will have them.
I've never been though. Even like before keto, I never really liked soda. I was always like a sweet tea drinker. <laughs> I want a sweet tea all the time. Can't wait to get my hands on Zivia soda. Have you looked in your store? Hi, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I have none of that stuff in stop and shop in Target and the Walmarts here are basic. Closest super Walmart is like five towns away. No, you know what? I'm kind of thankful that I live in an area that has so many stores. <laughs> I live like on a main street. No, we have a lot of stores. We got HB, we got Walmart, we got Target, we got Aldi, we got, what else we got? Joe B's, but that's like way down there. I don't really go to J Joe B's often. I forgot what else we have. Good coconut mojito. I have a video on how to make a keto mojito. I have a couple like alcohol recipes on here video wise. I think I have like three maybe because I'm not a big alcohol drinker, but I know a lot of people like it. So I'll try to put out more alcohol recipe videos for y'all as I go. But I do have a mojito one. Yes, and I'm still searching. <clears throat> but all right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this live. I know everybody has to work or, you know, get to bed. But like I said, putting out this recipe for video for y'all. Head on over to my Facebook, guys. Follow me there. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Please don't forget to hit this thumbs up button on this video. Share with all your family and friends so I can become famous. <laughs> I'm putting in race face. But overall, Sloppy Joe's bomb tonight for dinner really enjoyed it i'm full i'm full just off that one sandwich where do you get that black bottle mocha flavor for cold coffee so you're talking about the jordan skinny syrup one is that the one you're talking about i'm not sure which one you're talking about i tried bubbly and heavy cream with a little vanilla over ice cream you know what i actually did make that so I love root beer floats, like I love root beer. If I were to choose a soda, it would be root beer. And you can get some Rebel vanilla ice cream, pour the sodas over it, like the Zivia's. I got the root beer one. And you have yourself a low carb float. So good. Good night, everybody. Thank y'all for joining my live. I hope y'all have a good night. Good night. All right, we're gonna jump off. Catch me next Tuesday on live at 7.30 Central every single Tuesday next week. What did y'all want us to do? Drink. <laughs> Next week, we'll probably drink and chit-chat with y'all. We'll see what goes on. But everybody have a good night. I will see y'all.